Hello, my name is John Wu, uh, and I'm excited to tell you about some work that I've done with Josh Peake at the Space Telescope Science Institute, linking galaxy evolution with deep learning. So first I wanna say thank you to the conference organizers for putting together this program and just to bring together folks from so many different science disciplines. So I'm excited to introduce how uh, we can apply deep learning in astrophysics and better understand how galaxies grow and evolve. We know that galaxies have these diverse appearances from spiral galaxies with disks or bars uh, and irregular morphologies to these yellow red elliptical galaxies on the left here. And astronomical imaging surveys have transformed our view of the universe, which gives us a sense of how galaxies has, have evolved over billions of years. Now the image domain is very valuable for inferring some galaxy properties, but not all. And oftentimes we need to spend a lot more telescope time to take spectroscopic observations. And this lets us see exactly how much light was emitted at each specific wavelength. And that tells us information about new stars being formed or the variety of different elements that are uh, in the interstellar gas or um, intense radiation fields around massive stars and accreting supermassive black holes. Unfortunately, spectroscopy is fairly expensive. It takes way longer than getting an image. Fortunately, machine learning gives us a relatively intuitive way to connect the imaging and spectroscopic views of galaxies. So from galaxy images like these, we're able to determine the gas content and also the gas composition. Uh, that is uh, how much gas there is and the elemental abundances in it simply just by uh, taking a convolutional neural network model uh, and try to train on the quantities that are derived from spectroscopy. And this is a really powerful tool. It goes way beyond using galaxy morphology simply as a classification tool. We can use it to regress many other galaxy properties just from imaging. And in the work that I'm presenting today, we're, we've gone a step further. So rather than predicting the elemental abundance or just some galaxy property that's derived from galaxy spectroscopy, we can directly predict the spectrum itself. And so in the top row here, you can see that we've, pre, uh, we've used a pre-trained variational autoencoder to convert galaxy spectra observed by uh, the Sloan Digital Sky Survey into their latent space representations. And that can be decoded, of course, back into a Sloan spectrum. Um, in the bottom row, we've trained a CNN or a convolutional neural network to predict these latent variables directly from galaxy images. And so we can compare the latent vectors that are predicted out of the CNN um, with the ground truths and then decode them back into galaxy spectra, which are being compared here on the right. And we test different feature normalization methods. So batch normalization and deconvolution uh, are uh, the two that we examine here. So deconvolution layers uh, shown in blue are uh, are these uh, feature normalization methods that force image features to be represented sparsely. And so we substitute deconvolution layers in the stem and in the body of the CNN um, and including this hybrid approach shown down here. And the strongest performance comes from this hybrid approach where deep convolution is in the early layers of the CNN in the stem and the batch norm layers are, the traditional batch norm is used throughout the rest of the model. We think that this encourages the model to represent galaxies low level features efficiently uh, while still allowing for redundancy later in the model in order to express symmetries in the data such as you know rotation or translation invariance that we expect from astronomical imaging most importantly these predictions are intuitively correct and they look great so astronomy is entering a golden age of wide field imaging surveys and that's going to detect billions of new galaxies the rubin observatory is starting in two years and then later this decade, we're gonna have a beautiful new uh, imaging telescope similar to the Hubble Space Telescope with uh, the Roman uh, Space Telescope. And it's gonna give us a greatly expanded field of view. And there's no way we can get spectroscopy for all these newly detected galaxies, but machine learning methods like ours will help bridge the gap. And this is the final slide. Just in summary, please check out our poster and our paper, which is on archive and the website. Thank you so much for listening.